Okay, a uh, little update on what I've done so far. We've got, we're, we've got two axes made here, so um, some things I've done to solve some issues. The bottom piece of the gantry here, I had cut just a hair too short, so there was a gap between here and here, and I got alignment shims that are used for automotive alignment shims, so you can see the details in the photos. I seem to have gotten pretty lucky though. These two pieces here are cut to the right length, so when it's all bolted together, um, the vertical arms of the gantry, yeah, the vertical arms of the gantry here and here come up parallel to each other at the top and bottom when I measure them, so that's pretty good. Um, one of the things I did, made this plate today, this bearing assembly today, I had to actually elongate, when I tried to measure as close as I could, and when I bolted this all together, this, uh, the bolt holes, the four holes that I drilled here were not at the right location, so this thing would move up and down quite a bit. So I took a rat file, rat tail file, and I just enlarged the holes down. Didn't want to do that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I kind of planned on that anyway, but tried to get as close as I could. Didn't work. Um, and then these bolts here, which hopefully you can see this, they kind of, you can kind of see that bolt right here. It runs all the way down. Now I I'll use a tie knit, but what I discovered is I drilled the holes for these torsion bolts, I guess you can call them, or tensioning bolts, dead in the middle of the block, which turned out to be a bit of a mistake. I should have moved them towards the back side. I should have moved them this way, you know, this way, a little bit. Uh, what happened is the threads actually would roll up against the, uh, the T-slot here. So the solution to that was is we actually put the bolts into a brake, or into a lathe rather, and machined the threads off the inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but the heads here have little dimples that we drilled in to center it. Um, the top bolts on all these have thread lock on them so the nut can't turn, so it's essentially a bolt. Um, I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna do my Z-axis, and one of the things I'm thinking about doing is mounting this plate up, and this gives me something to mount my Z-axis onto, and also I'll keep the tool, as, I'd like to keep the tool as close as I can to the center point of the bearings, if I put the uh, the router on the the back side here, it's going to move it further away. And I'm thinking my workaround is, is since I got holes here that will just line right up with the holes that are, you know, that hole here and that hole here will line up with you know this hole right here and the that one beside it. Just have to space it out, and that gives me a nice plate to mount my z-axis onto and keeps the router close to center as possible. So there she is in all of her glory for now and there's the six-toed cat again.